big four are all limited. So you can take those. And then if you could maybe pull this one over well, here. I think one of the fun things about doing a show of this sort is I really don't look for anything. I don't have preconceptions, and I find, or always have found, that in some strange way the work kind of defines itself and finds its own level, and um, once I kind of get into it, I find myself gravitating to things which have quality or a sense of, of necessity or a sense of fun or a sense of, of real originality. Oh, is it? I don't know. Are there instructions as to how, how it goes? Three metal, these two and the three hanging. Somebody, yeah, somebody moved all the panels away. Yeah, um, I, 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 I can see it clearly. I, I think both those pieces will go out. That's the sixty-four thousand dollar question. Always, oh, of any critic, how how do you know what is that? What is that ultimate thing that tells you? The only thing that I can ever say is that I I simply feel that I know something, having looked at thousands and thousands of things for many years, and having my intuitions refined in as to what really was going to not only look good now but in ten years. Um, it's just that sheer proliferation of seeing, that sheer training yourself year and you know year by year by year, to to look to see to to find certain visual values. And I think when I first went through, I probably selected out of 600 maybe 125 things that I wanted to see again. It's awful, but you know it's it's something. It's there's a kind of primitive thing going on there. Okay. I'll look at that once more. And let's keep keep that one. That's yeah. kinda nice, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I want to eliminate that one at this point. Um I think one of the interesting things about this process is if one were to present this selection of six hundred works to me and give me six hours to come down to eighty and then on another day, show the same 600 to another expert, so-called expert, and let that person find their 80. I would be willing to bet that those two sets of 80 would be very, very close, would overlap almost completely. There isn't only my taste that's being brought to bear. Um, there is some objective quality that does reside in the object itself, and again, what that is is, is the question. Be nice if you could. I wonder how. Is this the way it goes? I, are no, we sure no. about that? No, no. Because each of those little things is so nice. You know, no, I mean, I'm the little sure matchbooks. To I the extent that there's a sense of confidence in all of the work, I would call. I would say that that, that there is a kind of freshness about it, and I sense here uh, quite a lot of actual of, of inspiration. Um, there's a work with an arm, a stuffed armadillo in it, and a, and a cactus, and that's kind of obviously a Western motif, but used, I think, a little bit tongue-in-cheek and used with a great deal of sophistication. That sort of thing one wouldn't be likely to encounter, say, in Boston or um, San Francisco. Um, predictions are, of course, the hardest thing to sort of do and make. I think photography is on the rise. I think that there's going to be an ascendancy more and more of, of really fine photography. And I I think people are going to keep painting for a long time to come. I think maybe I would have predicted two years ago there would be less and less painting of any sort. Um, I now don't think that's true. I think painting is, is around to stay for a while.